Hey everyone, so I'm on the third video of the new Creative Couture collection for Illustrator and I want to show you how to use the iridescent overlays, which um, you can get some really cool effects with that, so I'm super excited to show you. And uh, so I've got some text here that I'm going to work with and as I showed you before, as we see in our appearance panel, we got to prep this text for the um, Creative Couture actions. So I'm going to push play and I'm going to press play again on this one. Now we've got that fill layer that we need in the appearance. And of course our text is still editable. So um, most of the time, uh, you, well you can do it on any, on any sort of um, add an iridescent overlay to anything. But most of the time it's um, on like say a jeweled one or a lighter one and uh, the iridescent shows up more if it's like a silver or black and white effect um, if you didn't don't have a color. So I'm going to leave that fill layer black. I could also and put a jewel effect on this and uh, jewel or pave and then I'm going to pair it an iridescent overlay. And if I don't want any color, say I want a silver effect um, or a black and a white effect with my texture, I can leave this black or I could put it white. It really doesn't make any difference. So I'm just going to run my jeweled collection action, make sure that I've touched that fill layer, press play, and it's going to make it jeweled, which that's really cool. So I've got my jeweled layer, and I might just uh, play with this. Now you see, if I click here, I've got dark jewels too. That's for some really deep, rich colors, and various um, light ones as well. That's kind of cool. But I'll just, let's see, I'll leave it on the first one, maybe the second, third one. So I've got my jeweled action, and uh, you see here the fill layer is black, but you could also make it white. It doesn't really matter. It just makes it so that there's no color within there. So I want to add an iridescent overlay to this. So I'm going to select my pattern layer, and I'm going to go down here in my actions and find iridescent overlay. I'm going to take that and I'm going to press play and it's going to add this really cool iridescent little overlay here. And by default, it puts it at a 50% opacity in the overlay mode, but you can change that if you want to make it more intense. But usually with the um, iridescence, uh, a more subtle um, effect is nicer. So. And, you know, like sometimes you might want to put these, like some of the jeweled ones on like a darker background or something. It's going to show up a bit better. But I'm just going to leave it here for now so you can see. Um, but you've got the, so you, what it does is it makes an extra fill layer. And you've got your pattern here. And I'm going to go to my iridescent overlays. Um, and basically, I had you load these over here because to run the actions that, these um, things have to be in here but um, and so all of the patterns you need for the basic actions will be over here but say hey I want to do check out all the iridescent overlays you need to load that collection up um, and have it in the swatches so I'm just going to select that layer the top fill layer and play with you can just select the different iridescent overlays. I like that one because it has a little bit more co more colors. So you see you just have all these different effects that you can play with. And you can get some really cool um, cool things going on here. Uh, and if, say I want to change the, the base texture, I just go down here to this fill layer. And you'll kind of be able to glance at them and grab them easily because you've always got your color on the bottom the texture and then if you have an overlay you'll have it on the top but I'm gonna check my fill layer and I might look at the pavés. The pavés look really cool a lot of the times with um, the iridescence. The pavés and the jeweled but don't um, let that stop you. You know you can experiment with lots of different things. I love this jeweled effect that looks really neat. Um, so you can just have a lot of fun. I love the straight ones. Some of these allow the colors to come out just a bit more. So you can just have um, all kinds of fun checking these out. It's just a blast. Um, so I just love that. That's the iridescent overlays. You can change them at any time. 
and play with the opacity and find something that you like. Um, but that's really cool. And some of these iridescents look really cool, even over like really dark patterns as well. Um, let's see here. Where, well, I'll show you that later. Okay, so I'm going to show you another thing that I kind of um, discovered just by happenstance is that it can, the iridescent also can really look cool over um, some of the golds. So normally I had used them over just a silver or lack of color. You can even use them over color if you want to add a little bit of just extra depth and texture and all of that. But I'm going to just take this and um, I don't need to really run an action on this now because I want to have it in gold. So I'm just going to click pave and I'm going to pick out one of my paves, like the 14. That's so cool. Ugh, how sparkly is that? And uh, I am just going to put an iridescent overlay on it. So all I really have to do is select the, um, directly select this watch. And then I'm going to touch that layer, run my iridescent overlay. And now I've got uh, an overlay on it. So I'm going to select my overlay layer over here. And then you can just um, play with these. And what it does, oh, you know what? I stand corrected because I made a separate um, action just for putting it over gold. So say I want to backtrack that, I can just touch that uh, overlay layer here, hit trash, and now it's just going to be back to the default um, gold pave. So let's see here, we learn as we go here. There's iridescent over gold. So I made a special action just for that because I put it on the blend mode as hue instead of overlay. So I'm going to press play and now that looks cooler. I, I changed it because normally the iridescent overlay, if it's over a black and white or a silver effect, jewel effect, it's on the blend mode is set to oh, overlay. But with if you're putting it over gold, it's set to hue. So how stinking cool is that? So now I can just select my the top layer and play with the different overlays and find something that I like. It's so colorful. It's so sparkly. And then I can just tech, pick the bottom fill layer and then play with some different pavés and just um, have, that's so cool. That would be like amazing on a black. I have to remember those settings. That's pave set seven. I got to make a display out of that. So you can just have fun with all of the different effects and uh, all of this is within Illustrator. So I'm just so excited to bring that to you. I kind of just stumbled on that. The, um, the using the iridescent overlays over gold. So I think it's really fun. And let me just, um, you know, I'll change the color of my background just so you can see how they pop. There we go. That's better. Um, you know, it's all about contrast. So if you want things to, like to sparkle, to stand out, it's good. Although sometimes um, I love to, I like just, you know, like a jeweled effect on white. It can be really delicate, really pretty. So that's the overlays. And uh, I think that wraps up my thing. So I'm getting ready to upload my product and hopefully um, it'll be out this morning. All right. Thank you so much.